I think it's long been established. It's not a Giannis Ande Tecumbo signature shoe if it does not have a big swoosh. The Nike Zoom Freak 1 had a large reverse swoosh on the heel midsole. The 2 had it on the lateral upper. The 3 is probably an exception with the reverse swoosh not as big underneath the collar. But with the 4, Nike decided to bring back the large logo, still reversed but extending from the midsole to the upper. The 5 is no different, except the logo was no longer reversed. And now we have a leaked photo of the rumored Nike Zoom Freak 6. Does it have a large logo? You bet. So let's talk. Welcome back. This is Fresh Bear. Smash the thumbs up button. Share this video to your friends. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. By the time this video has been posted, more photos of the Nike Zoom Freak 6 might have already surfaced, so check back for an updated video as well. But for now, all we have is a single photo of the rumored shoe, so let's make the most out of it. So what makes the shoe a Giannis shoe? Two things. The logo at the tongue, and of course, as I've mentioned at the start of this video, the big swoosh logo. So there seems to be little to no doubt that this is a Giannis shoe. As to whether this is the Nike Zoom Freak 6 and not a takedown model, I'm more inclined to believe that this is the 6. I could be wrong, but that's my opinion based on my historical understanding of the Freak series. The photo shows the shoe at an upward angle, but it does seem that the shoe is somewhere between a low top and a mid top silhouette, which is consistent with the Zoom Freak Signature series since it first came out. The collar seems to have not too much foam padding at the sides, although the back section seems to be plush. Moving to the tongue, there's the Giannis logo and below this is what looks like mesh material. Around the tongue is the lacing setup which is standard, no fancy cables or wires, just your classic lacing setup. Around the top section is what appears to be a leather panel, either synthetic or genuine but probably synthetic, that serves as reinforcement, like an eye stay that extends all around the top of the shoe. If you're paying close attention, you've probably seen this in a new Nike shoe that I made a video about a few days back, the Nike GT Hustle Academy, but that comparison is for another video for another day. Going back for the base material of the upper, the shoe seems to have two layers. My guess is that the outer layer with the embroidered rose design is fine mesh, while the inner layer could be textile or fabric. For the midsole and outsole, the photo does not reveal much. We'll have to wait for more photos to have an educated guess as to what the cushioning setup is and how the outsole could perform. I just hope Nike could give the Freak series more than just a 4 foot zoom unit, but that's just my humble take. Based so far on this single leaked photo, the Freak 6 seems to assume a laid back design approach like the Freaks 1 and 5. The shoe is not too busy with tons of design features other than the usual big swoosh on the side and this could actually be the very first time that I will personally like a Giannis signature shoe from a design standpoint. But there's more to come so stay tuned. In the meantime, let me know what you think about the rumored Nike Zoom Freak 6. Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Bear, thanks for watching, peace and love to the fellow underdogs.